Welcome to the technologycloset.com and our quick shots. In this video quick shot, we're going to demonstrate a built-in command in Windows for helping you diagnose or at least find out if your internet connection is working properly. What I mean by that is if you try to get to a, a group of websites and they take forever to seem to load, it may be an issue that you can get an idea whether it's network congestion or whether it's on your computer or whether it's your internet service provider. To do that we have to use the command prompt. Let's open up the desktop and from the desktop we're going to open up the control the Windows X extra menu selections. To do that hold your Windows key down and hit the X key. That brings up the extended menu. From there we're going to select the command prompt admin. Click yes to the user account. Now here is our administrative box. Now this is, looks like a what, what used to be called a DOS box. Into that we're going to type the command trace route. Now, if you want to know what all of the command switches are that are attached to this particular command, give it a space, put a forward slash, and then a question mark. As you can see, there are a lot of command switches. Now, we will not be using these switches. There is more information about the traceroute command supplied on the website and also wikipedia.org. Let's demonstrate the traceroute command using a common website. Again we type traceroute or tracert with a space. Now the website, in this case Google. Now when we hit the enter key, watch what happens. Now as you can see, we start to see some trace routing going to various IP addresses, starting with our own home router, which you can see as the very first one. The trace route took 12 hops, that is it had to go to 12 different locations in order to finally get to the destination, in this case Google.com. You'll notice that we have millisecond times here and IP addresses. The first two IP addresses you see here are my local internet connection and internal network. The next two that you see which are rather fast are my internet service provider. From there they start to hit other hops. Each hop has a time measurement. We like to see these time measurements less than 125 to 140 milliseconds. If we start to see very high trace route time frames and we see stars, that indicates a dropped connection. It could not give us a time frame or the time exceeded the live rate of the packet being sent. These could indicate network traffic congestion. Unfortunately, there's not a thing you can do about that. That could be because this particular server is very busy. However, we can see that from number one and number two, number three and number four, we got very high, very good time uh, slots. That indicates that our computer is working fine and that our ISP is responding properly. It's once it gets out onto the internet that we start to have the problem if these numbers were high. Next I want to show you a better tool than the traceroute command. There is a website called analogx.com. The creator of this particular website is a very skilled programmer and he has created a program called Hypertrace. It does work with Windows 8 and Windows 7. 
I advise you to go to this website, download it, and keep it as a spare tool because it is very fast compared to the traceroute command built into Windows. Let's demonstrate that. I have it already installed and I'm going to start it. Now as you can see, I have mine set up so that it goes to Google. Now we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. By the way, I shortened the time on this on the video because it was quite long. It took about uh, at least 45 seconds before it finally finished the final hop. Let's try this hypertrace command. And as you can see, it took the same number of hops, but look how quickly it came popped up. It, it's very quick. And of course it gives us the information we're looking at. Now we do see that there's a timeout here on hop number 11. That could be anything from timing out, such as it says, or that there was a uh, problem with that particular route, but it did go through. It just timed out and we couldn't see it. When you do trace routing commands for diagnosis of network congestion, do it several times and see if you get good consistent numbers. Well, that's it for this quick shot. Please visit our website at thetechnologycloset.com. And while you're there, make the selection and view our YouTube channel. Until next time.